Okay, last one for today. Um, we'll be looking at Penny Siopis, another South African artist who was working during the time of apartheid. And so the work that we're looking at of hers is called Patience on a Monument, a history painting. And it was created in 1988. But first, let me introduce you to the artist. So Siopis was born in 1953 in the Northern Cape. She holds a fine arts degree from Rhodes University. She also studied in Portsmouth, England, before returning to South Africa to lecture at the Natal Technicon in Durban. In 1984, she lectured at the University of Witwatersrand before moving back to Cape Town permanently to lecture at the Michaela School of Arts. Siopis is still a prolific artist, exhibiting on a global scale. But again, for this chapter, we only explore a specific work that is pertinent to the resistance art movement of South Africa. And as I said before, that is Patience on a Monument, a history painting. Now, the history in this title is um, in inverted commas. It is an oil painting and collage on canvas. This artwork is a mockery of what is traditionally understood as a history painting. Here, instead of seeing an artwork heralding the power of the subject, we see a humble woman sitting atop a pile of debris. This debris is made up of a collage of various things alluding to patriarchal colonial power. Patience is an allegory in this work, much like Liberty is in Delacroix's work, except here, Patience is not heroic at all. Her name may even be Patience in this instance. Obviously, this would not be referring to her true name, but rather to a name given to her to make it easier for the white tongue to pronounce. She is completing the menial task of peeling a lemon. The lemon peel falls atop the rest of the pile of rubbish. Upon closer inspection, one can begin to decipher various images within this debris, such as a broken canvas, a dead bird, a skull, an image of a heart, an Anton van Vogh bust. In a sense, this is almost like the ultimate Vanitas painting, where things that have or should have come to an end are signifying the transience of life, but hopefully in this sense, the transience of colonial or imperial power. Theopis has tried to deconstruct the history that she was taught pertaining to South Africa. Her argument was that children throughout the country were taught from textbooks that promoted white imperialism and notions of the noble savage. These textbooks were obviously written to promote Afrikaner nationalism, and thus images found within them were often of missionaries, slaves, poor trackers, traders, and the British redcoats. Siopis has literally torn out such textbook pages and used them to create the background of this painting. So Patience is literally patiently waiting for her circumstances to change, for her history to be rewritten, perhaps even to be included in the history for the first time. Patience is draped in a similar dress worn by Delacroix's Liberty, yet here it has been used to further a sense of othering that had become so commonplace in the traditional painting of exotic woman, bare-breasted and docile. This artwork is loaded with semiotic coding, reference that linked to notions of myths and societal constructs. The Anton von Vogt sculpture, for example, is dated 1907, and it was a recognisable image in that it served as a definition for what black man looked like. Hence, a further example of the noble savagery that I spoke of before that was condoned as acceptable to the youth to study from. So such textbooks are very rare to find these days, but still in today's textbooks, there are things that should be deconstructed, changed. And I think we see this in a lot of the colonialism must fall movement in that people are trying to decolonize syllabi or the syllabus, but it's taking incredibly long. And I think an artwork like this could be recreated today with very similar imagery showing that we're not yet where we should be. As a resistance artwork, this artwork seems very complacent, yet the loaded, me the loaded meaning is what becomes quite assertive and aggressive for that time. Siopis' works would have been exhibited um, for the general white population to see and this is almost a tongue-in-cheek work in that you'd have to really analyze the work to be able to see its meaning and to understand 
what all these symbols and reference are. I hope you enjoy it.